I'm here in, in France to ride the Tour de Mont Blanc, which is uh, billed as the world's toughest one day bike event. And ever since I was a teenager, I'd always had this dream of cycling up Alpe d'Huez. Being very competitive, very driven and goal orientated, I was like, if you're going to do something, do it to the best of your ability and, and set, set your goals high, higher than you might think you can achieve. I have to do this. I, I have to take this challenge on. It's the Tour de Mont Blanc and the very first thing it said was world's toughest one day bike event. If you truly believe something and you're prepared to do the work to, do, to achieve the goal, then anything is possible. A lot of this comes down to mental strength. There's going to be times on this ride tomorrow where it's going to be some dark places in, in my mind. It's going to be 16, 17 hours maybe on the bike. My motivation is I want to see how far I can push myself. I want to see what I can achieve. I don't think many of us really live to our full potential in life. Sometimes we need to take ourselves out of the comfort zone to really flourish and, and, and grow as individuals. Waking up in the morning, there was a lot of nerves and anxiety just to get up there and get started. You know, so much build up had got into it. I just wanted to get, get cycling. We got up there and everyone's there with their headlights on. It's just amazing to finally be on the start line. Once we got out of Chamonix and started getting into new territory, you think, okay, yeah, this is not too bad. Enjoying this, get into a rhythm. And then got to the big climbs and they were just brutal. I've never, ever been on anything like it before. I mean, even the so-called smaller climbs were 15, 16 kilometers, uh, eight, nine, up to 10% in places. You get around a switchback and you think, oh, it might be a bit of respite here, and the road just ramps up again. The tough one was uh, Grand St. Bernard, which is 30 kilometers of non-stop climbing. And then you come out of the tunnel and you think, right, I'm almost there now, I've got 7K to go, and the road just goes up. It takes a, a lot of willpower and the right mindset to keep pushing on and go, OK, got to break this down again now and realise that there's, there's more to come. Got to the next feed station, about 215 kilometres. I knew there was a bit of pressure on to make the final cut off at the next time check. And I knew I had to absolutely push it to get to the top and down the other side. I rode Petit St Bernard at my absolute limit for 23k. So I just kept, kept going for it blocked out the pain and just thought this is it, it's now or never, if you've, if you've got anything you've got to give it now. I had a couple of minutes to regroup, get some food in and then did the descent down that 32 kilometre descent. I was shaking on the bike, there was a howling wind which just meant that where well, I could have been freewheeling in places, I was having to pedal down a pretty steep downhill. Got to the time check, I'd missed the official cutoff time. Um, the guys I was riding with the team had a chat to me. The decision was made for me that as much as I wanted to continue and my mind said I've got to keep going, that my body just simply couldn't do it. I knew that there was another uncategorised climb to come. I've got to at least get back on the bike and try and see if I can get up this next climb. My legs just couldn't do it. So I turned around and freewheeled back with tears welling up and realising that it wasn't going to be. And at the time, my thought was, I failed. And in retrospect, looking back, there's two things. One is, you know, if you give your absolute everything in life or in a challenge, and you lay it all on the line, and you can honestly look at yourself in the mirror and say, I gave 110%, and you've left nothing out there, I don't think it's a failure. There was times when it was tough earlier in the day when I could have just pulled over and said, yeah, that's me done. I gave it my all, and I, I fell short, and there's no shame in that. And I think the second thing was I had a goal and I desperately wanted to achieve it. You can learn lessons from it and come back stronger from it. I mean, they, they often say that, you know, it's through our failures or that we learn the most. Sometimes it's easier said than done to be positive all the time, but if you can keep working at that mindset and fostering a positive belief, it becomes easier. So it's like anything. It's important for people to understand that 
the human mind's powerful and that you can achieve anything you want. It might not be first time, but you will get there.